a full day of eating and training. I like to have a banana before I'm working out because I'm working out first thing in the morning. I just want to have something very small, something that fills me up for my workout, gives me energy, this is very important, and then have my proper breakfast after my workout. I already prepped my shakes. This is my protein powder, which I'm going to have after my workout, and my pre-workout because we said we want to have some energy. And even though you get some energy from the banana, <laughs> We still need some caffeine, or at least I do need my caffeine before working out. I like to start my workout with assisted pull-ups. This was such a big goal for me this year to finally be able to do a pull-up. I mean, technically it's a chin-up because of the hand placement, but it still counts and I'm very proud of myself for finally being able to do them. I am doing assisted pull-ups here. I can do them without the band, but I prefer doing them with the band because I just feel like I can do a little bit more reps at the moment. I like to do free sets until failure which means for me around four to five reps at the moment and because this is so high up I like to step onto a bench and then get into my resistance band and do my pull-ups next we're doing lat pull downs which is one of my favorite exercises like ever and I start with a light weight and then go to a little heavier weight this is why I'm also using my lifting straps because I feel like my grip is not strong enough to pull this weight and then I feel like half of the movement all I focus on is my grip and not my back so I do like to use my lifting straps when I'm doing lat pull downs I like to really slow down with my movement squeeze at the bottom but also make it very slow to the top again you know I'm not rushing it just very slow and controlled movement Next we have a super set which I absolutely love because it also saves some time when I have to work afterwards and my time is very short. I work out first thing in the morning and this entire workout takes me about an hour hour so not a long time but a lot of exercises this is why i love it so much because afterwards i feel like everything is burning <laughs> and i love a very short but effective workout so we're doing these straight arm pull downs and the same with the lat pull downs i like to have a very slow and controlled movement when i'm going to the bottom i like to squeeze my back muscles And then we move straight into face pulls and I like doing them when sitting down instead of standing up because I feel like I have more stability when I do it like that. One of my all-time favorite favorite exercises this is so good also with this exercise because it's just actually be working your back shoulder i really like to focus on that muscle and make sure that i can feel it there and also hold it for a second before going back up again I don't know what this machine is called, but I watched a Chef Nippert video where he ranks the best back exercises and he says a chest supported. This is one of the best exercises and I've been doing it ever since. So you also could do it with a wider grip, but I feel like I didn't have a close grip in my workout yet. If you don't have the machine, you can also do them on a bench or you can do the cable seated row, although it's not like chest supported, but I feel like it's still kind of the same. Since I've been working out only three days a week lately, I do shoulder and back on the same day because I don't have two separate upper body days anymore. So next we are doing shoulder presses. I am struggling really hard with these, as you can tell by my face. Even though I'm not using a lot of weight, I always see the girls on Instagram lifting insane weights on their shoulder presses and I'm jealous. I really need to get on the game and up my weight, but for the moment I'm struggling with my 12.5 kgs. With this exercise, I make sure that my elbows are tucked or like a little bit in the front and not too much to the side to avoid any injuries and I usually do them until failure because I can never really go three sets for my full rep range but I love how much shoulder presses burn. <laughs> 
Next we're doing a bicep superset which I love because at the end of this you feel like your biceps is just falling off and we're doing usual like regular bicep curls. I feel so embarrassed only being able to do 5kg with this exercise but my biceps is very weak <laughs> and after doing the bicep curls we move straight into hammer curls and I promise you your biceps is gonna be on fire. I love this superset so much. And who would have thought we have another superset? But like I said, I train before I go to work and I have a very limited time. So maybe if you also have limited time, supersets are amazing, especially on an upper body day. I don't really do them on leg days because I need my recover time between the heavy exercises. But on an upper body day, I love it and this is my favorite favorite superset for my shoulders i do this pretty much every upper body day or shoulder day whatever it is at the moment and it is lateral raises and then straight into front raises your shoulders are burning so much and i love nothing more than shoulder pain so i do enjoy this exercise or this superset way way too much if you've never tried it please try it on your next shoulder or upper body day because ever since i tried it i'm absolutely obsessed with the superset having my post-workout shake always i love having a protein shake after my workout cheers this is so good, so good. I know a lot of people don't like protein shakes and I know a lot of people think it's disgusting to drink it only with water, but I have never done anything else. I've always mixed it in with some water after my workout and I love it, okay? I'm obsessed with it. Time for breakfast. I'm gonna make some oats because I love my oats in the morning. When I'm working, I love to make overnight oats. I have two meal prep videos where I'm showing you how I make my overnight oats and then take them with me to work. But when I'm home, I like to make them fresh. I just make my oats in the microwave, just some oats, water, and then put them in the microwave for two minutes. I have my strawberries because it is strawberry season and when it's strawberry season I have I have a ton of them okay <laughs> I'm also making my oats today just with some cinnamon I also like to make them sometimes with protein powder but I've been obsessed with cinnamon lately again I've been having oats with protein powder for so long but I like the simplicity of cinnamon and also because I'm in a weight loss phase I am saving a little bit of calories when I'm not having protein powder in my oats and then I like to top it off with peanut butter sometimes i also use the lotus like the biscoff spread oh my gosh this is so good then i top it off with some agave syrup because i like to have it very sweet you can also put maple syrup or honey on top whatever you like or nothing at all i just personally think strawberries with agave syrup taste like heaven <laughs> like i'm not exaggerating you need to try it if you've never tried agave syrup it is so so good especially with strawberries in combination lunch what i'm gonna make today is a sandwich which sounds very basic and maybe boring i don't know i always have my meal prep lunches when i'm at work so i never have a sandwich anymore and i'm a big fan of sandwiches for lunch because it means that you don't have to cook and i made myself a coke zero for my lunch i love having coke zero with my lunch number one it gives me energy for the afternoon because i don't drink coffee in the afternoon because i have very bad sleeping problems and especially with caffeine i need to be very very careful with caffeine and how much i have of it and when i have it so I usually have a lot of a lot of caffeine in the morning and then i switch to coke zero <laughs> i have sweet cravings after my lunch and this does it for me
time to make dinner. I am so excited because we're making my favorite spaghetti probably like ever. I mean, besides spaghetti bolognese, I think these are my favorite. But this is my favorite comfort meal that is still healthy. <laughs> I usually make it on the weekends because it's not a meal prep meal. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I love to meal prep during the week because I don't have time to cook. But this is something that doesn't taste good I think it doesn't taste as good when you warm it up the next day. This is like my, my fancy meal. When I want to romanticize my evening, I'm making my spaghetti. I usually also like to make some bread on the side. You know, like I have leftover bread, so I'm going to toast it with some butter. You can also put garlic on top, like making your own garlic baguette or buying a garlic baguette. And then you can have Coke Zero with it, what I'm going to have. Or you can also have wine with it, what I also sometimes really like to do. Yeah, it's just the perfect weekend evening meal if I don't want to order anything or eat out or you know just just having my my little comfort meal at home pretty much. It is so easy to make because I just cook my spaghetti which I always cook first because I feel like spaghetti always takes so long to cook. I don't know why. I feel like other pasta doesn't take as long but spaghetti crazy. Then I cut a little bit of garlic. Usually I'm too lazy to cut up fresh garlic but for this recipe it's gonna make a difference okay. I'm gonna roast the garlic with some butter in the pan. Then I put in my salmon. I always buy the frozen wild caught salmon because it's the cheapest one. I add a little bit of milk, which might sound weird, I don't know, and lemon juice. And I'm also gonna add some parmesan into the sauce and I'm also gonna sprinkle it on top. So. to eat this now. I don't know what happened with the garlic because it turned blue like that never happened to me. I was like oh my gosh what's going on. I'm gonna eat now and I'm gonna watch the tortured poet's apartment reaction from Ellie. Ah. For my last meal of the day I decided to make some quark which is like Greek yogurt but higher in protein. It has a little bit of a not so runny consistency so so I like to I like to mix it with some water to have it a little bit creamier. I of course put on some strawberries and some agave syrup because I'm absolutely obsessed. I don't always have like this for dessert in the evening. Um, in summer I like to have some ice cream, I sometimes like to have a cookie, I like to have some popcorn. I do not eat green all the time. Just wanted to make sure to mention that. That was my full day of eating and training. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more food videos and workout videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!